So today we're gonna uh, present um, um, and demonstrate a very low cost effective uh, 22 LR revolver. It's a very fun uh, revolver to shoot. It's a 22 LR. The company is called Heritage Manufacturing and this is a, a, a copy of an old style uh, a 22 Luger. Uh, Ruger. Uh, this model is a new one. I'm gonna remove the box here for a second. And as you see, unboxing, you get the uh, uh, the necessary mandated uh, lock, uh, cable lock uh, for safety for the kids and stuff like that, so they don't have access for it. And uh, this is the revolver. Um, so. The revolver, this one is very fun to shoot and it has nice feature to it. First of all, this is 7.5 inch, a 22 LR pistol. It comes with a uh, elevated uh, front uh, post with a uh, fiber, a red fiber uh, uh, side. And it has also a rail where you can mount something like a Romeo. Of course, this is elevated, but you can remove it. Uh, the uh, Romeo 5 comes with two, one for AR, one for low uh, mount. Uh, this is uh, AR height. Without it, uh, the elevation will be um, directly to the rail. Now, this pistol, this revolver uh, is very cost effective. Uh, MSRP less than 250 bucks. Um, it, uh, this is uh, it comes with a, a six round. Uh, uh, cylinder uh, in 22 LR. I already ordered uh, a six round uh, uh, Winchester rim magnum fire for it. So you can shoot both the 22 LR or 22 Winchester rim magnum fire. Okay, um, it comes with this grip, which is a, a very nice uh, wood grip in green. And this is by the way, uh, my gift to my son who is nine years old so it will be his first uh, revolver to shoot. Um, already I have nine mm, uh, a 22 semi-automatic, so he can shoot that too. But this is uh, my gift for uh, my son on his ninth birthday. So he's mature enough to able to handle it and um, uh, to shoot it safely. He can disassemble it and uh, um, uh, he didn't go to the range yet, okay, but soon he will go. So let us keep talking about the features of this revolver. Um, this revolver seems like the finish is very, very good. And this is a single action pistol. So first of all, let, uh, let me show you how uh, you can uh, check uh, if there is uh, uh, ammo or not, okay? Uh, this is the pushback to eject the 22 LR. So you put it on this, uh, 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 un uh, semi the, the, this one has many cocking okay because single revolver with the multiple cocking uh, position this is the lowest then we have first uh, setting second setting and third and fourth okay so but um, at the lowest one okay um, uh, uh, where it should when it dropped the, the, the hammer it goes there okay this is the second one it also does not uh, 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 to eject the bullet here or check the the cylinder. So you go to the second one. Now this is free, okay? Now this is free. Now we can rotate and inspect from the gate here. They have a single gate where you can see if there is a, a cases or not. If there is any here, if you need to eject it, you press on this one and you can eject it, okay? So uh, this is the beauty about this one. And since now we can see there is no uh, no ammo whatsoever, no cases, uh, no, uh, no bullets, no nothing. So it's safe actually to drop the hammer if I want to, okay, in safe direction. And uh, see here, it will uh, uh, it will uh, rotate the 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 bar the uh, uh, the cylinder, and we can drop it. Now there is also very beautiful something for this one here. Is there is a safety, okay. When I was dropping, actually, there is here the safety bar will uh, not uh, allow the hammer to hit the 
uh, the primer uh, to the firing pin because this is safety actually. So when I put it to the red dot here, okay, this will, if I shoot it, it will fire, that and fire. So if I drop this forward, then this does not fire it, okay? Does not go all the way to the front where you can hit the firing pin. So it has a manual safety, which I like a lot, especially for new, new shooters, the young uh, shooters, when they, uh, we can put it on safe. So just in case they uh, drop the hammer in non-safe direction or something like that, which should, they shouldn't do, then uh, uh, we can make sure that this is on. Now, um, so single action actually is what? You have to pull up the trigger, uh, to, to the hammer all the way to the back, and then you can shoot it. Also, what you can do if you if you pull the hammer in one one with another finger or the, with the with the left thumb, and if you drop it, you're gonna fire it again. Okay. So this is the wild wild west. They used to do single action like this or like this. Okay. So this is the single action by keeping your uh, trigger finger on the trigger to the back you can pull and release the hammer and this is will shoot one okay now um, if i need to remove uh the cylinder because the cylinder now is in 22 lr but i already ordered another one and in winchester uh um, winchester rim, rim, um, rim fire rim, yeah it's a magnum uh, rim fire okay so you have to change it so to change it what you need to do okay you go to the first one, okay, then second one, okay, and then you have the third one, which is the cocked one. So we go the first one here, and there is here a pen, okay? So if you push on this pen, you can ex extract this guy, okay? Okay, you press on this pen, okay, then you extract this one. Then you open the gate, and this is can, it can get out, okay, easily. So. Here's, here's the cylinder, we got it out, okay, and this is 22 LR, and this is in six shots. There is another version of this one comes in nine shots too, but mine is in six shots, cylinder. Okay, so next week I will get the one with the Magnum Brim Fire. Okay, so now, you see, it's, now this is assembled. You can clean it, you can clean the barrel. Uh, this, is the, uh, this is the gate for loading or closing. Okay, and then you can clean it with the, with the, whatever you like to do. I cannot disassemble it. I can disassemble it more, but that won't be a called field stripping, but maintenance or if you need to uh, maintain it somehow. So of course you can clean it from here, it goes here, and this has a rail. Okay, okay. So this is what I can tell you about it. I'm already also interested in another version of this one, which is in 6.5 inches instead of 7.5 inches but it has a threaded barrel too. So I can put a, uh, uh, I can put a, sup a sound suppressor um, or it will be shorter even for carrying or you know, uh, when you are going onto a range and you don't want to take the, the big seven and a half inches. Okay, I can put this Romeo on top. Uh, Romeo, this one five has a uh, shake and wake feature. I can put a lower version, a lower, uh, uh, an old version of the Romeo or any red dot that you have to turn it uh, to without an auto uh, shake and wake feature. Okay, and of course here on the beauty about this, um, if you look here, this is the rail. Okay, even when the scope, the red dot is on top, you can you still use uh, the iron side with this one here. Okay, so you can see this is still here. There is the uh, the rear side. Okay, you can line it up with this anytime you like. So to this to the assemble, okay, we open the gate, we take this one here, there is front and back, this is the front, and we're gonna uh, put it to the front here. Okay. Okay, you see you put it to the front, okay, and you take this one here, the pen, the holding pen, okay, and we're gonna try to put it back. Uh, again, okay, there is this one here switch and we need to line it up first, okay, and now here is free and this is now here locked, it's tight and first click and second click which is for unload or load check, okay, 
So this is the pistol, uh, the uh, revolver actually, uh, from Heritage in 22LR. I like it a lot. They call it a uh, tactical cowboy or whatever. Those grips are interchangeable. You can get smaller or a little bigger or um, whatever you want, okay? And this is a uh, very easy to shoot, a little heavy, but it will be very steady too. Of course, you can use two grips to shoot it, okay? And if you put red dot, it will be much easier. So with the Magnum uh, rimfire too, you get an extra barrel, extra, extra uh, cylinder for uh, like uh, hunting rabbits or shooting uh, varmint uh, or uh, pests, whatever, okay? So I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope it's not too long. If you have any questions and, uh, or other pistols, revolvers or firearms you would like uh, uh, to have a look at, let me know. Uh, my uh, channel is called Yara Firearms. I'm a, an FFL dealer uh, here in Texas. Uh, I started the channel so I can uh, uh, share my passion and knowledge with the, with the community and uh, promote a safe uh, firing, uh, safe uh, uh, shooting uh, uh, habits and shooting sports. Uh, now, put, you saw me, I put my hand here because I know it's a safe, but usually we have to keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction and I never muzzle it, so. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you need to see other uh, videos, reviews, let me know. And please, please like and subscribe and share uh, my channel. I'm not paid, uh, just I do it from uh, uh, me supporting the community, okay? Thank you very much and thank you for watching.